Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam, and today I'm gonna to be guiding you through a class for knee stability. So of course, as dancers, our knees are very, very susceptible to injury. They get put under a lot of stress and a lot of strain when we're doing all different types of dancing. So today's class is really gonna focus on proper knee tracking and really on strengthening all of the muscles that surround our knees. Now, I am going to add a little bit of a disclaimer in this class and just say that if at any point throughout this you notice any kind of pain or discomfort or something doesn't feel quite right within your knees, definitely take it easy. Maybe come out of the pose. Child's pose is always an option. Maybe don't go into quite so deep of a bend depending on the pose that we're on. Just definitely listen to your body. That is number one most important as we go through this practice. And uh, another note is that you will need uh, blocks for this practice. If you don't have any blocks around the house, you can also use um, some books or some really thick, dense pillows. Um, if you're also looking for blocks, I do have a link, uh, an Amazon link down below, so you can check that out as well. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and get started with one of these blocks. And you're gonna take this block and we're gonna lie down all the way onto your back to start placing this block right in between your knees. And then place your feet on the mat about hip width distance apart. And right away, engage your pelvic floor. Feel your lower back pressing into the ground. Arms will be by your sides. And then on an exhale, we're going to push into the feet to lift the hips up into the air. And now from here, we're just gonna squeeze the block. So really draw those inner thighs together. Feel that you're squeezing this block or cushion. Nice and strong, holding for another five seconds. Keep your core nice and engaged here so we're not trying to arch in this bridge pose. And we'll release. Take one breath here and we're gonna repeat that. So again, on your exhale, pushing into the feet, engage the pelvic floor, pushing up. And now squeezing that block between your legs, really engaging through those hamstrings and inner thighs. Holding for three, two, and one. Coming on down. You can just put this block off to the side, and then we're gonna stretch through the left leg, bring the right knee into your chest, pulling it as high as you can. Keep your left foot nice and flexed. And then from here on an exhale, we're gonna cross this right knee over the body. Reach the right arm out beside you. Keep both shoulder blades on the floor. Take one really deep breath here. Now you have an option to stay here or extend through that right leg. So you're gonna extend and then grab a hold of wherever you can along your calf here. Try to keep your eyes towards the right, keeping both shoulder blades on the floor. So you should feel a nice stretch into your IT band here. Continuing to breathe, feeling that twist coming from the navel. And on your next inhale, engage the core to bring that knee back to center. And then right away we're gonna switch to the other side. So bending in through the left, flexing through the right, and then on an exhale, cross it over. Oops, gotta kick my block out of the way. But cross it all the way across your body. Keep your left shoulder blade on the floor. Twisting from your belly button. Always remembering to breathe deep. And just like before, you can stay here in this twist or progress by stretching through that left leg. Grab a hold of what you can. If you can reach all the way to your big toe, you can grab a hold of that. For me, I'm just, my hand is just resting along my calf. I have very, very tight IT bands, so it doesn't take much for me to feel this stretch here. Breathing into your twist. And on your next inhale, pulling that knee back into center and release it down. We're gonna come all the way up, making your way into a tabletop pose. So coming up to hands and knees, and now you will want to set up your blocks on their highest level, just on the sides of your mat. 
And now from here, we're just gonna step the right leg through. So we're coming to a low lunge here on the right side. And then you can grab your blocks and just bring them so they're right underneath your shoulders here. So it just adds a little bit more support as we, <clears throat> excuse me, as we stretch into the front of your left hip. So make sure your knee is right over top of your ankle, your right knee that is. And now on an exhale, you're gonna send your hips back and we're coming into half split. So from wherever your foot was, just stretch through that front leg. Relax your body over your hamstrings. Now we're gonna repeat three more cycles of this, moving a little bit faster. So on an inhale, coming forward into our low lunge. Exhale, sending the hips back, finding half splits. Again, inhale. As we do this, really pay attention to the tracking of your knee. So watch your knee bend right over your ankle. The energy is sending right between your first and second toes. We bend once more into that half lunge or low lunge. And then back into half split. Last one, forward on the inhale. And send it back. And we'll come forward once more just so we can switch. I'm just gonna keep my hands right where they are as I step the left foot through. Take a couple of breaths here to settle before we start moving. So breathing into the front of that right hip, keep your core engaged. Knee right over top of your ankle. And on your exhale, pushing your hips back, finding your half splits here on the left side. Again, just taking a moment to settle into this posture, so breathing deeply. And now we'll take three more additional rounds here, moving through it, so inhale, Back to your low lunge. Exhale, folding forward. Again, inhale to your low lunge. And exhale to fold. Last time, inhale, really track that knee right over your ankle. And exhale. And we'll come back to your tabletop. Move your blocks off to the side. And we're gonna tuck the toes, send the arms a little bit farther away from your shoulders, and then push yourself up, finding a downward dog. Take a moment to really settle into this down dog. Let your heels relax towards the mat. Feel your shoulder blades pushing away from your ears. Nice long spine. Taking three more breaths here. From this down dog, we'll inhale to lift the right leg, open up that hip, and then right away, let's swing it forward, finding the high lunge to so step that foot between the palms. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Again, feel that that right knee is right over top of your ankle. Arms right beside your ears. And we're gonna make this pose a little bit more dynamic here. So on your exhale, you're going to release your back knee towards the mat, and then inhale, push back up. Exhale, release. Inhale to push it back up. Exhale, release. Push it up, we've got two more. We're bending, try to keep those arms continuing to plug up towards the sky. Last one, we come up, and right away we're gonna transition into warrior two. So flip that back heel, that front knee, is still at a 90 degree angle. Arms are reaching out beside you, nice and long. Now we're gonna take another few bends, this time through the front knee. So from here, we're gonna push to straighten, and then coming back to your 90 degrees. Let's inhale to push, exhale, coming back into the pose. Inhale to push, Exhale, really track that knee right over your ankle. Inhale, push, and back down. And now from here, we're gonna lift the back heel once more, coming into an easy twist. So reaching long through the arms. Still feeling that bend through the front knee at 90 degrees. Now from this position, we're gonna stretch through the front knee and then step the back foot in. And that back foot will come to about 45 degrees. So now we're coming to a revolved triangle. 
So stretching through the hamstring. Feeling nice and strong and wide in this position. If looking up towards the ceiling doesn't feel so good for your neck, you can always bring your eyes back down to the floor in this revolved place. Take one more breath and then bringing that top arm down to the floor. We're gonna step up halfway so we find a nice long spine. Hands can come to your hips. Bend through that front knee and we're gonna push forward. So coming into sort of like a warrior three, but your bottom knee is bent. So everything else, everything else about this posture is the same. Our back leg is parallel, toes pointing towards the floor, foot is flexed, hips are square. We're just finding a nice juicy bend through that supporting leg. Taking a couple more breaths here. Feel that right knee super strong, super stable underneath you. And on an exhale, we'll release forward into a right doll fold. So bringing that left leg to meet the right. Let's grab opposite elbows and just take a second to swing or sway side to side over those legs. Make sure you have a nice generous bend through your knees. And we'll release the hands to the mat. Let's take an even bigger plie and then we'll roll up through the spine to stand. So head and shoulders are the last to recover. And we'll progress from here. You can stay facing the front of your mat. I'm just gonna to turn to face the camera so you can see a little bit better. But what, excuse me, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to an eagle pose. So I invite you to bring all of your weight into your left leg. And then we're gonna bend into that left leg. Take your right, cross the thighs. And then if it's accessible, we're also crossing um, through the hook of the foot. So one or two crosses here. Now bring your arms out to the side on an inhale, and on an exhale, cross your right arm underneath your left. Again, crossing once or twice with those arms in front of you. And finding a steady place to look at with your eyes. Trying to maintain stability through that supporting leg. So feel that you're really rooted and grounded into the floor. Feel that knee really, really strong, supporting you underneath. We'll take two more breaths here. And first release the arms, coming back up to second position. Place them on your hips and then we very gently release that right leg back down onto the mat. Now bring your knees all the way together. And we're gonna come into a generous bend here. Place your hands on your knees. Now this is not a yoga movement, um, but it is something I learned in a different sort of training class that I find is just very, very helpful for my knee joints. So bringing your hands together, we're just gonna make little circles. So first I'm gonna start by making circles to the right. And you can do this at your own pace. But we're just in a very gentle way. So we're not forcing anything here. But in a very gentle way, we're starting to play with the um, very slight rotation that is available in our knees. So anatomically, our knees are typically thought of as a hinge joint, meaning they just bend forward and they straighten, and that's pretty much it. As I keep talking, let's go the other way, towards the left, finding these knee circles. Um, but as I was saying, there is also an availability for some rotation in your knees anatomically. It's very, very slight, very, very minimal, but it's not really talked about a lot. And we want to avoid torquing the knee and really forcing any kind of rotation. But it is good sometimes just to acknowledge that we can move our knees in that way and just start to play with that malleability in the knees so that we can find a little bit more flexibility. So let's stand all the way back up and I'm gonna come back to the top of the mat and from here we're gonna flow all the way back down onto our mat. So on an inhale, bringing the arms up, palms to touch. Exhale, folding forward, diving over your shins. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. 
Exhale, place the palms, stepping back, chaturanga. Inhale to upper dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a few deep breaths here. Notice if one side feels different than the other after that one side of our sequence. And just making notes for yourself. There's no right or wrong answer as you do this internal assessment. But we'll go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So inhale to lift the left leg up. And right away, exhale, swing it through. Plant that foot, coming all the way up, finding high lunge here on the second side. Right away, check in with that front knee. Make sure it is right over top of your left ankle. Feeling your core nice and strong. And we're gonna repeat those knee dips with the back leg. So letting the knee drop to the floor. And then inhale, push back. Exhale, release. Inhale to push. Exhale, release. Inhale to push. Keep your core nice and strong. Exhale. And push. Last one. Exhale down. Inhale up and twist it into warrior two. Feeling that back foot parallel with the short edge of your mat. Feel the outside of your foot pushing into the floor. And again, we're going to track through that front knee. So pushing, inhale, coming up, exhale, coming back into that plie. Inhale, push and straighten, exhale, back down. Inhale it up, exhale. Last time, inhale to push, exhale down. And we're going to lift that back heel, bring the right palm to the mat, coming into your easy twist. Feeling a long line through your arms. Again, feeling that knee right over top of your ankle. I will say that a lot in this class, of course. And now trying to maintain this twist through your spine, step your back foot up at 45 degrees, finding your revolved triangle. So now stretching through that left hamstring. Of course, when our hamstrings are tight, sometimes that can cause some knee pain or discomfort. And on your next exhale, dropping that left palm, hands onto your hips, finding a flat back. Breathe here for one moment, and then we bend through that front knee, transfer your weight forward, coming up to this bent leg, warrior three. Try to feel that that supporting leg, even though it's in a plie, is staying very strong, very grounded, not wavering too much. So feel yourself super rooted into the floor. Reaching energy out your back heel. Taking two more breaths. And on your next exhale, bring your right foot to meet your left and release your upper body forward. Let's find a nice juicy bend through those knees, grabbing opposite elbows. Once again, just swaying side to side. Just releasing all of that hard work. And place your hands back down onto the mat to so an even deeper bend. And then we roll up through the spine again, coming all the way up to stand. Once again, I will face you, but you can stay where you are. Taking all of your weight now into your right foot. Now taking your left leg, crossing it over once or twice, finding your eagle leg position. Then inhale the arms up. Exhale, left arm under right, crossing once or twice. And again, feeling that same supporting leg, nice and strong. unwavering, rooted into the floor. And remembering that this is a practice. If you fall out of it, you just get back into it. This is for yourself. Improving each and every day through these balances. And we'll inhale the arms back out. 
hands on your hips. Release that leg, very gently place it back onto the mat. We're gonna repeat those knee circles, so feet all the way together, coming into that bend. And now circling, let's start to the left this time. We won't do quite so many. I blabbered on a little bit on the first side. So we'll just do about five in one direction and five in the other direction. Very good, and standing up straight at the top of your mat. We will flow once again to our downward dog. Inhale, arms up, palms to touch. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step to plank and cobra. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Continuing to breathe. And we'll place the knees down onto the mat. Let's bring your toes together, knees as wide as you would like them here. And then just relaxing into your child's pose. Forehead melts onto the mat. We'll take about five breaths here. Let your heart rate return to normal. Take note of any heat throughout the body. Start to walk your palms in, coming back up to a seated position. And then we're gonna come all the way forward onto your stomach, onto the mat. And right away, we're gonna take the right forearm and just place it at about a 45 degree angle. So it's reaching towards the corner of your mat. And then feel your elbow pushing into the ground so that shoulder is pushing down and away from your ear. We're gonna bend into that left leg and then reach your left arm around behind you and then just very gently start to guide that foot in towards your glute. So we're coming into a bit of a quad stretch. And of course you determine how far you really wanna go in this stretch. Of course, the closer you bring that foot to your glute, the more intense. If you start to feel any pinching or any discomfort in your low back, you can ease off a little bit here. But taking a couple of breaths, Breathing through those quads. And to come out of this posture, we're going to release and very gently place the foot back down so it doesn't slingshot back down onto the mat. And then taking your left forearm, coming to your 45 degree angle, right away we're going to the other side, so bending through the right knee. Grab a hold, very gently guide that leg in. You may notice that one side feels very different than the other. For me, my right, my right quads are much more tight. So I don't find the pose quite so easily on this side, which is okay. It's just important to note. So you can get to know your body a little bit better. Very gently release that back foot down onto the mat. Releasing your upper body down. We're gonna bend into both legs this time, grabbing the outside of your ankles. And then on an inhale, you're going to push your ankles into your hands and let yourself come all the way up into both hooks. Now after you do this, it's important to try and feel that your knees are not splaying open, but they're actually more in line with your hips. So again, paying attention to that knee tracking a little bit more. You want your knees to stay in line with your hips so that bridge activation that we did right at the beginning of class comes into play here. Feel your inner thighs engaged. To hold your legs there. We're gonna exhale, come down, but keep the hold of your feet. We're gonna come up into that bow pose one final time. So right away, feel your knees 
lined up with your hips. And then again, we inhale, push up. Stretching through. Feel your abdomen expanding as you breathe into the floor. One more deep breath. And releasing down. We're gonna come up to a seated position. And before, before we start to close down our practice, we're just gonna come into a pose that's a little bit more yin inspired, um, but I thought it would just be really great to incorporate into this class. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna open your knees slightly, ever so slightly wider than your hips. And then you wanna try and place your hips, your sit bones, all the way down onto the mat. So they're going in between your feet. Your feet are just on the outside. So we're very, again, very slightly rotating the knees and just finding this stretch here. And you should find in this position that your spine is very nice and tall. If this is not accessible, you can always place a cushion or a block right underneath your hips so you can stay propped up. If this position feels really great and you would like to make it a little bit harder, you can walk yourself out, maybe down onto your elbows. So again, just kind of deepening through that stretch. I am gonna stay upright here, but again, as this is your practice, you can kind of play with it and see how it feels best in your body. Remembering to breathe, paying attention to any sensation you might be feeling through the knees or through the legs. Feel your spine nice and tall. Again, we're finding that very slight rotation through the knees um, in a very passive way, so I'm not engaging any muscles while I sit here. And by finding it in this passive way, we're just allowing for a little bit more uh, flexibility and stability through these joints so that they, if we were to find, if we were rotating the knees in choreography, let's say, it's not coming as a surprise. We're used to being in that place while we're staying soft and supple. So it's important to kind of play with those extremes in a very gentle way, of course. So we'll come on up, walk your hands forward if you were all the way down, coming up off the knees, and right away we're gonna flip ourselves to come all the way down onto your back. It might actually feel good. Before we do that, let's just bring the soles of your feet onto the mat and just take a little windshield wiper motion side to side. Just kind of releasing the legs, releasing the hips. You can stretch out your knees since they've been bent in that position for a little while. Maybe shake them out. And then we're gonna come all the way down onto your back. Starting to wind down our practice. We're gonna come into happy baby, so first, Bring your knees into your chest all the way towards your armpits and just start to rock side to side, feeling what that feels like through the spine. And now flexing the feet, elbows in, hands to the outside of your feet, very gently pulling them in towards you. Try to keep your lower back and tailbone in contact with the floor as much as you can here. And then again, you can introduce some swaying side to side just to reopen those hips. Remembering to breathe. And we will gently release the feet back down onto the mat. Stretch your legs out. Recenter myself on my mat here so I've got enough space. Let your arms fall by your sides, palms shining up, and just letting yourself release into Shavasana. As we breathe here, let's take a moment to just check in with our bodies and see how the muscles surrounding your knees, how they feel. So feel your hamstrings, your IT band, your quads. All of these muscles that come in contact with the knee. 
just notice how you're feeling and notice how maybe one knee or one leg feels different than the other. You might even feel some sensation up into the hips or perhaps even into the calf. Remembering as you do this body scan that there is no right or wrong answer. There's only observation. We're going to take another eight breaths or so here. Just letting your body and your energy melt into the floor. Really give into gravity. And breathe. yourself on up overhead and when you're ready on your own time rolling onto your right side maybe taking a breath or so here and then push yourself up finding a seated position sitting up nice and tall take one final moment just check in with your body see how you're feeling Bring your hands together in front of your heart and bending forward, namaste. Thank you so much dancers for doing this practice with me. I hope you found some value in this knee stability class and you found some, maybe learned something new or found some new sensations, positive sensations, of course, throughout the legs and throughout the knees. Please don't forget to like and please do subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness. I release new videos for dancers every single Friday. And that is everything for today. So thank you once again, and I'll see you on the mat again soon.